How to track your income and expenses using MintApp. A lot has changed between our parents' generation and ours. They didn't really have to budget all that much and their lives were simpler. This is why most of us inherited the go with the flow attitude of living life and well, we can't just wing it through life anymore. We have to learn how to budget. The good news is that you don't have to do all of it yourself. There are lots of apps that can help you through this process. In this video, we'll go over how you can use Mint and three other apps to track your income and expenses easily. But before we continue, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Road 24 7 Success, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. Mint. The first app that we're going to go over is Mint. To start using Mint, go over to mint.intuit.com and either download the app or continue on the site and create your account. For this, you need to click the sign up button on the top of the screen. It'll redirect you to a create account page where you can fill out the credentials and set it up instantly. Remember to choose a strong password here and everywhere else that has to do with money. Also remember to set up multi-factor authorization so your account has the added layer of security on it. Once your account is made, log in and you'll be looking at your brand new account. The Overview Page Now at first, the Overview Page might look a little overwhelming with all the options, but stick with me here, I'll explain everything as we go on. Let's start with everything that's on this page. This is basically a summarized version of your entire account. You can see your account balance, credit card balance, loans, investments, and properties on the left tab. This tab keeps track of all these so you can see where your money is. As you make your way to the right side of the page, you can see where your money goes. So all the upcoming bills and budgets will be shown here. Let's get into actually setting these up. Connect your bank account or credit card. On the accounts tab, you'll see a little settings icon. Click it and search your bank's name and add the credentials and connect your bank or your credit card to Mint. A great thing about this platform is that you can easily connect multiple bank accounts and credit cards to it too. So if you're someone that uses more than one, you don't have to create separate accounts for all of them. Just one account will do. Once the bank accounts and credit cards are connected, we can get into the fun part, the budgeting. The thing you do when you're budgeting is set aside your bills. Look over to the right of your overview page and you'll see a tab that says upcoming bills. Click on the setting icons right above it. A window will pop up where you can customize and set up the bill you need to pay. For example, if you're supposed to pay a utility bill, just select Utility in the drop-down menu and add the details. Once you have, click Done and your bill will be set up. Every time you pay that bill, click the Mark as Paid button right opposite the bill and Mint will deduct that from your balance, showing you exactly how much money you have left. The Budgets tab. Now the most important feature of Mint, the Budgets tab. Head over to the top of the page and you'll see a Budgets tab. Click it and you'll be redirected to the main budgets page. Here you need to find the Create Budgets button and click it. What you're supposed to do here is basically separate everything you spend your money on. Start at the basics, like food. I like to go as far as to separate the necessary food and the leisure so I can make a category for groceries and another for restaurants. This helps me keep track of how much money I'm spending on food for survival and how much I can actually cut down on. I really recommend doing this because you might find that you're spending far too much on eating out, and if you've been counting that spending as food, you might think that all that money is going towards groceries instead. If you want to take this step further, if you're a drinker, you can even create another tab for alcohol and set that out separately too. This will give you a real look at exactly how much money you spend on social eating. When I first did this, I found out that I was spending more eating in restaurants than I do on groceries. So I set a smaller budget for leisure eating and more on groceries to even things out. Your budgets tab should have everything you spend your money on. Add an entertainment tab so you can keep an eye on the money you spend going out. An auto and transport tab where you'll be adding all the car and train expenses to. A rent or mortgage tab where you have your rent and add everything else that's important to you. This way you'll see where the bulk of your money is going and how much should you allocate to other places instead. One thing to note here is that you're not stuck with the budget you make at first. You can always go back into it and click edit details and change whatever you want. Once you click save, everything will automatically be updated. 
the Everything Else tab. A great feature of Mint is that it's automatically tracking your transactions. So sometimes, if you make a random payment that wasn't really a part of your budget, or if it has trouble categorizing it in the right place, it'll put it in the Everything Else tab. You can click the transactions on this tab and edit it to go into an existing category or create a new one for it. This only really happens at the start. Mint has an artificial intelligence system that's learning from you as you go. So eventually, you won't have to tell it where to put your random transactions. It'll figure it out for you. Seeing the problem areas. By using the Mint to budget, you'll have a visual of where the money is going. If you manage to stay within budget, all the taps will stay green. If you get close to the limit, it'll turn yellow, and if you reach the limit or go over it, it'll become red. You can then take a closer look at all the tabs that are red and adjust your budget accordingly. Eventually, you'll have a perfectly functioning budget and won't have to wonder where you spent all your money. In addition to Mint, if you're looking for other apps to use, these are my top three recommendations. Number one, Pocket Guard. First, you have Pocket Guard. This is a platform you can use both on the web browser or download the app. Either way, the first step is to create your account. The steps of signing up are the same as they are on Mint, and once your account is made, you get into the details. Here, you can connect your current, savings, or checkings account and get started. Pocket Guard has the ability to automatically detect your income and all the bills you have on a daily basis. It then uses that data to create a budget for you, and that's their What's in My Pocket feature. You'll see the amount of money you have and the amount of money that the app thinks it's safe to spend. This way, you can make sure you're never overspending and always stay in budget. The only downside of this platform is that the free version is limited, so you'll have to pay a fee to use all the features that they have to offer. Number two, Good Budget. If you're familiar with the traditional envelope system, Good Budget basically brings that age old offline idea to the digital world. The platform simply categorizes all of your money into envelopes or categorizes and helps you section out all the money you have and wherever you want to spend it. Another plus point to this app is that multiple people can use the same account and have envelopes in it. So it's great for budgeting within the family. One thing to mention here is that Good Budget doesn't sync to your bank, so you have to add your account balance manually, and whenever you spend money, add that in too. If you don't mind doing that bit of work manually instead of having it on autopilot with the other apps, this one will do just fine. And number three, Honeydew. If budgeting with a partner is what you're after, Honeydew might be a good option for you. This app is specifically made for couples to budget together. You can add both of your bank accounts and have the option of only showing the amount of money you want to show. It also has the option of adding all your investments, loans, and credit card bills so you can have an overview of those too. In the budget section of this app, you can easily create budgets and set limits on them. This way, anytime either of you is close to the limit, the app will notify you both so you can make the adjustments needed and it helps keep track of who's spending more money and who needs to budget more. This platform takes away the need for having a joint account for your expenses. You can easily spend money together and help each other keep track of the expenses while maintaining separate bank accounts easily. And that's a wrap for our review for Mint. Will you be giving Mint a try? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Row 24-7 Success for more videos like this. See you in the next one.